Okay, I'm just gonna let you know about a couple incidents with Brandy in the last, hmm, since I've known the girl. One night, me, my boyfriend, now my husband at the time, went to Walmart. You know, normal trip, you know, looking around, just hanging out. We get Brandy back home, and she stole stuff from Walmart without paying. You know what her little explanation was? It didn't have a barcode on it. They couldn't scan it, so I took it. We didn't pay for it, so it still belongs to the store. Duh. Stealing much? Um... I was out of town. Me and my husband were out of town that day. And she asked me weeks earlier, you know, can I borrow your camera? I'm like, I'll see. You know, I didn't tell her yes or no. I said, we'll see. You know, because I don't know what the plans are. I don't know what we're doing that week. She called my husband's cell phone, cussing me out, calling me every name in the book, called me a fucking bitch, whore, slut. You name it. She left three voicemails on his cell phone like that. Three. Well, after that, the next incident was, I think here, the pot smoking incident. Let's just say, I told her no. She called my husband, who at the time we were dating, and had a Instead of using nice language, uh, she called me and said, you know, I had a 45-minute conversation with the person who you're fucking. Hmm. Very nice language. Very nice person. I heard said, so what? I was right there with him when you were talking to him. And, well, let's just say this much. Her and him went to elementary school together. I went to high school with her. The only extracurricular activity that Brandy ever had was FFA. And the only reason she got to do that was because she told her mom that she would be well taken care of. Throughout high school, Brandy would tell me, you can't talk to that person. You can't be friends with that person. I'm like, hey, excuse me, I can talk to and be friends with whoever I want. You don't have the right to tell me that. I can still be friends with you and I can still be friends with them. What's the deal? She was possessive and controlling all through high school. If I so much as went out somewhere, she had to know about it. She's still that way. A couple of weeks ago, Actually, not a couple weeks ago, about a year and a half ago, me and my husband didn't plan on getting out, plan on staying at home because I have a dad who's a Vietnam vet who worked on the railroad as well. And he has a lot of problems, so I take care of my dad. I've taken care of all my family at one point in time or another, but that's what you do. You take care of your family. You don't treat them bad. You don't talk to them bad. And you sure don't leave voicemails on their phone. Every time that I ever talk to Brandy, she's like, oh, your family, your family. The next day, she'll be cussing me out, talking about me behind my back. Even in high school, she'll talk, behind me, talk about me behind my back. She's always been two-faced. Well, after the camera, the phone, and the pot incident, I gave her another chance. She even started on Facebook. I think I, I blocked 40 some different profiles on Facebook. And she wanted me to talk to her. And I said, no, leave me alone. Next day, new profile pop up. I delete it. Well, then she started having her little friends get on there and start sending me harassing messages telling me about my daddy's dick and everything else. Jeez, what a nice person. Well, ever since then, it's been the same way. The girl doesn't ever change. She's a thief. 
a liar. After, or, or, you know, after she started sending me threatening emails, I did go to the police and I did go to her county attorney. They did press charges. They called her home and talked to her because I was sitting right there. And her excuse is, I'm on bed rest. I'm not allowed to leave the house. I can't leave. I'm on bed rest. Yeah, big lie, as usual. The girl can't tell the truth. If it was shoved so far up her rear end, it would actually reach what little bit of a brain she had. People like that, having friends, don't last long. She would talk about Sean bad behind his back, saying, Sean did this to me. He's so horrible. Oh no, Sean did this to me. I can't believe it. She told me at one point in time, she goes, the only time I see Sean is when he wants a booty call or when he wants to come in every now and then. She goes, that's the only time I get to see him. Well, they have worked together almost 10 years, yet they don't have no kids. They never got married. Hmm. Me and my husband, now, we were together four no, almost five years when we got married hmm nine years almost ten kind of odd and as for the person who she calls her daughter the only time she sees her daughter to even focus on her daughter is when she has to adjust the screen revolution on the FaceTime that she's on because that's the only way she can be a mother to anybody is through FaceTime <laughs> poor kid Look at what she's going to have to put up with. I feel for her because having that as a mother, yeah, that's going to be real fun. Grow it up when she doesn't get her way. She gets so mad. And the only thing you can do about it, have fun. And as for Miss McCartney, God bless you because you're going to need it, especially dealing with Brandy. The first time you tell her no, or the first time you tell her you can't do something, oh, oh, hell will break loose. Or you don't have enough money to buy her something because you've paid bills or you've had to buy the baby school clothes. Yeah, those things come first. Brandy's never had a child, never been up close to one except for babysitting. Or, like I said, FaceTiming. That's as close as she's ever came to a kid. As for having any of her own, I highly doubt it. Because if so, her and Sean would have had some a long time ago. But you know, people like that. Yeah, she's gonna have a fun life. It's here right now. She lives in a crummy housing duplex. And what it is, is it's a housing project, really. The only thing that switches hands there is drugs. And she loves it there because they sell their drugs all the time to people. Like her dog, her pit bull, who is a racist dog, who you can't come in wearing a hoodie around, and it doesn't like black people. Hmm. I wonder the first time the child visits and Miss McCartney. What's she going to do about that? You know, she calls me names and racist and stuff. She's the one that has a racist dog who goes after blacks. So, a vicious dog, a child, hmm, a child, a dog that don't like blacks and a child. When the first time they come to visit, it ain't going to be pretty. That dog's going to tear them apart. I have neighbors who have pit bulls, but I don't have any. I have a Chihuahua Dash Hound mix. That is my baby. And yeah, she's getting old, but she's been more loyal to me than Brandy ever has. Brandy looked at me. She got, she's told me several times online, oh, I've been there for you. I've been there for you. No, she hasn't. The only time she's ever done anything for me, but actually it was not just for me, it was for herself, really. She uh, 
came, her and Sean came and got me one night after my papa. Actually, it was right after the funeral. They came and picked me up. And uh, the whole night, they were all worried about, oh, we got to be home by this time. We got to be home by this time. Tosh, can you call my mom so we won't get in trouble? We're going to get in trouble because I have a curfew. It's 10 o'clock and I'm not going to be home till 11. The girl was 28 years old. I didn't have a curfew. Why did she? I was like, I'm like two years older than her, but I shouldn't have had a curfew. I didn't have a curfew at that age. Why did she? Hmm. Guess, I guess her parents are keeping her close for a reason. As for everything that I've been through with her, the only reason she used me was money. Because, like I said in my previous videos, we've had to buy, me and my husband's had to buy her and her family food. Anytime we've been anywhere with them, we've had to buy them food and buy their way, pay their way. They can't even afford to buy their own food at a restaurant because what little bit of money they do have goes to their bills. So, even if they have a little bit of extra money left over, it goes to her dad's beer and cigarettes and pop. But, you know, if they can't even afford to live in a housing project, how are they going to afford to live anywhere else? They can't afford to even pay their own bills now. How's that going to change? They're living off the government. They all three get checks. And I'd say they probably get food stamps too because most people who don't work get food stamps. But people like me who work every day doesn't get food stamps. We don't even have the option of it. So every money I get goes into my home and goes to my family for food. Brandy does not know how to manage money or a bank account or anything. She's never paid the bills in her home. She does not know how to save money because she's too busy spending it on eBay and on other things. Like I said, I've seen her throw a fit on Sean because Sean told her that he couldn't afford something. But Sean, I want this. I want this. Please, please, Sean, I want this. Batting her eyes, doing her best just to get what she wants. Well, needless to say, he ended up borrowing money off us before the end of the trip. Before he even got back home. We went to Black Gold one year with her and Sean. They ate our food. Um, and Sean gave Brandy $20 for food. She turned around and bought a t-shirt. Then didn't have no money left for food. So, anytime we got food that day, they ate it. Then Sean went to the ATM, came back. I don't even have enough money to get home on. Well, Brandy goes, well, Mom and Dad owe you money. Mom and Dad owe you money. Don't worry, they'll pay it back. Yeah, right. I seriously doubt he ever seen that money. But like I said, you know, she talks bad about me. And you all talk bad about me on social networks. She's posted pictures of me and my husband and my nephew. And actually, he's a foster nephew. His parents don't even know where he's at. But she posts online, that child, because it was with a camping trip. It's on her Miss McCartney profile. You can find it there. But like I said, she'll get what's coming to her. Her little version of karma, when it hits, yeah. Like right now, she doesn't know. She probably knows where her daughter is right now. But how are you so sure that they're in the, she's in the right hands? That she's taken care of properly. Because, you know, studies have all shown that someone who the child trusts sexually molests kids. In 99% of the cases. Case studies, even. But, like I said, you know, she thinks she knows everything. 
But if she did, she wouldn't steal. She wouldn't lie. And me and her had a conversation about over a year ago. And she mentioned, oh, Sam bought me this really tacky ring. And it was so fake. She goes, Sean and I laughed about it because it was so fake. Hmm. Gee, nice person, right? I'd say she's going to probably end up having her buy her at least a couple more rings. I'd say that, you know, Brandy's always complaining, my mom had to pawn her rings. My mom had to pawn her rings. She always brags about, oh, I've got diamond and gold rings. Hmm. Well, she makes some sacrifices for her family instead of her family always making sacrifices for her, as usual. She doesn't care. Her family's made so many sacrifices for her to make sure that she could do and have a normal life, yet she still can't wipe her own butt. She can't use the bathroom on her own. She can't bath herself on her own. The girl can't pick up on her own. She don't have no chores. The girl's never had a chore. She don't know what that is. Cleaning house? Oh, that's for mom and dad to do. Hmm. Huh. It's mom and dad's responsibility to walk the dogs because I can't. But every time I've ever talked to her, she's either high on her prescription drugs yeah, they might be prescription, but you're supposed to take them a certain way at a certain time. Not whenever you want to get high. And her and Sean do nothing but party the whole entire time they were together. They go to a hotel room and trash it. Brandy told me one time when they got home from a trip that she don't know what in the heck happened. She woke up the next morning and the whole entire hotel room was turned upside down. Pictures were hanging off the walls and... Everything was thrown. The TV was broken. Party like a rock star, huh? The horse said, you know what? I don't drink to get drunk. I drink to relax. And after I relax, you know, there's no big deal about it. But I don't drink except maybe once a year, if that. I think last time I drank was about four years ago. So, you know... Brandy doesn't know me. She never has and never will. But I have learned a lot about Brandy. She's two-faced, backstabbing. And oh, if you ask her, oh, I learned it all from Tosh. Hmm. Guess where I learned it all from? The master herself, Brandy Nicole Combs. Sorry this video's so long, guys. But you know what? I had to get some things off my chest. And I feel a lot better. But like I said, if you ever go anywhere with Brandy Combs, good luck. Hope you don't get arrested. Because, you know what? It may start out as a bracelet. Who knows? Maybe next time it may be a $20 CD. Or a $30 CD. Or a $75 DVD set with her. Yeah, she's going to end up in jail. But at the same time, the emails and her crap. Yeah, she don't know me. She's never known me. Only thing she's known about me is that she wants to control me. And she didn't like it when I grew. Actually, when I grew out of letting her control me. Because in high school, I did let her control me to an extent. Hmm. Some friend. But when she started telling me who I could be friends with and who I couldn't be friends with, that's a little far. Years later, I asked her about, oh, the reason that happened was I was, it was my beginning stages of being bipolar, and I didn't know it. But like I said, good luck. And I hope your child survives because people who have mental disease, like the woman who was bipolar, recently who got brought up on charges because she left her six-year-old son on a swing for three days straight and the child died of starvation you know the child died of starvation and froze to death because they were in a park swinging on a swing yeah 
and that's mom, huh? You know, maybe you all may want to look at some things going on around you before you make snap decisions. Gotta go. Bye.